Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Lab Badge and Nest Nori and today we're gonna review the Resurrection Remix version 2.4 on the Galaxy S6 Edge and it is a stock Android based ROM and before we start I would just like to say if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the videos and once again do not forget to subscribe to the channel and help us reach our goal of 1000 subscribers and let's get into it so first of all the ROM comes with the pixels launcher which I really love the pixels launcher looks really clean and simple so that is a great thing to have and as you can see that the ROM is fast and responsive and everything is fast and you do not encounter any of the lag so that is a great thing but I do recommend scaling down the animation scale like I always do by going into the developers option and going down until you see window animation scale, transition animation scale and animator duration scale and these are set to 1x by default but I reduce them to 0.5x it reduces animation time which gives you a illusion of that the device is going faster so that I always recommend and the ROM feels so much faster after doing that and the ROM comes with the Android FX which is a audio modulation application it is like an equalizer but if you compare it to Viper for Android Viper for Android would win but it is a simple application for many of you who do not like to interfere with the equalizer and all so it is a simple application to just increase bass or virtualizer and all so the camera app does not have much to offer you have only the camera mode simple camera mode you have the simple video mode you have options over here some and that's it with the camera app you do not get anything else in this camera app so that is a bit disappointing I would really love if the camera application would be updated to something which would give us more camera modes and all and let's move on to the settings so you have a huge configurations and personalization options over here you can change almost everything in this ROM and you can change clock customization you have brand logo you have custom logos you have battery options over here you can have large battery uh, percentage so you have status bar battery style you have many things over here then you have the weather temperature and all then you have network traffic carrier label status bar gestures and all then you have the panels customization uh, you can customize the panels in this ROM you have header the task manager and you have recent apps customization quick settings customization lock screen gestures buttons animations interface miscellaneous and this is the largest customization options that I've seen in a ROM so that is just amazing you can change everything in this ROM almost everything so that is great and you have settings over here which you can quickly swap to and I would just like to say one thing that the ROM and the screenshots look a lot different than what you use but you can customize your device to that using these options you can also customize it furthermore because there are many settings over here which you can change so moving on to the battery and the ROM gives a impressive battery life so it was on standby for two days then I used it today a lot and the battery is still at 27% and it is showing two days approximately I would just not consider that but it would give me I think uh, four to five hours maybe more battery life than that so the battery life on this ROM is just amazing and you have the power saving modes over here if you want to extend that even further and I would just like to say one thing that the apps freezes sometimes like this the screen will go black and it will just crash so sometimes it happens sometimes it doesn't so it happened to me a couple of times so I was just using the device and the app would just freeze and it goes black and it would just crash so that happens sometimes and the fingerprint scanner does not work in this ROM I set it up so let's go into security and I will show you that I've set it up the fingerprint scanner and as you can see you have one fingerprint set up over here and if I close the device and turn it on it works sometimes but it doesn't sometimes so it started working now but it is a little bit slow than before 
and as you can see it works it sometimes and it doesn't sometimes so and as I'm using it it is getting faster and it is making me look like a fool but believe me it does not work sometimes and let's go into the about device and as you can see you have the model number of the Galaxy S6 Edge and you have the Android 7.1.2 which is the latest so that is great you have the latest security patch as well so that is great too so the Volti is not working in this ROM either and as you can see I'm using the Geo 4G over here and the LTE is working I can use the internet but the Volti is not working but there's a fix for that and I've already made a video about it so link to that video will be right over here please do check it out if you want a working Volti E you can just uh, follow the video and you will get the working Volti E so give it a try and the ROM does not come with the Google applications and you do need to install them separately and I've already made a video about that as well and link to that video will be right over here once again and do check it out and it is really easy you can download them and you can just follow the video and it would be really easy to install them but if you think that the video is outdated do let me know and I will make a new one so I think that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video and thanks for watching guys